Abortion is a cancer in our culture today. I would argue that it's actually a sign of God's judgment upon us already, uh, that we live in a culture where abortion is so widely practiced and widely tolerated. But abortion is a profoundly immoral and unjust act, the, the taking of an innocent human life at its most defenseless. As Christians committed to justice, committed to righteousness, we cannot stand by and just let that happen. Just as Christians in previous generations took a stand against slavery, which is one form of dehumanizing precious human beings, uh, we need to similarly take a stand against abortion today. So the question is, um, how do we do that? I'll make a few suggestions. Uh, one would be to try to understand where abortion advocates are coming from. There are some very popular arguments offered for why we should uh, support abortion or at least allow it to be legal. And it's actually very easy to answer those arguments. And Christians need to be trained to be able to do that. I think that there are uh, political means that we should use. I think we should work through democratic processes, through the law, uh, to change the law. I think we should be promoting a pro-life culture, supporting uh, pregnancy crisis centers, promoting and supporting adoption, uh, practicing adoption ourselves. But above all, we need to pray. We need to call upon God to bring about radical change, gospel-centered change, because fundamentally, unless people's hearts are changed, the culture is not going to be changed. And so we need to continue to preach the gospel, call on people to repent, and pray to God to have mercy upon us.